Hello my friends and welcome back to Twelve Universe. So this time I'm gonna do a quick video on the daily delivery missions and show you how to do them. The air and space delivery. I have done them 47 times as you can see so I'm gonna show you exactly what the best way is to do them. Alright then, let's get started without uh, messing about. Let's just what go and chat? do this. Just press escape if she starts blabbering. So this is the only ship that um, is worth taking. But there's also a trick in here. I'm not sure if this is actually faster, but um, I prefer this method. First you're gonna have to remove the fuel from this, because on some reason it has so much fuel in it. I don't know why. Alright, and in this tank you leave 200 liters, and in this one you leave about 300. Actually you can take more, but uh, your inventory is gonna be full anyway. So these front tanks, they are just for like uh, forward and sideways thrusters, you don't need them at all. Uh, I believe these two are for hovers, and then these two are for the main thrusters, so... This is how I'm doing it, I already have my own method, but okay, let's... Uh, whoa, why is it drawing me like that? And just go into the same places as I'm going, because I have already done this I so many times. Hit. You can press escape twice when she starts blabbering, just to shut her up. And don't use the throttle to break, use the actual brakes in here to break. And only when you're uh, in the right place then um, put the throttle to zero. For me it's X. I forgot now, did I link the container? You have to link the container. Yeah, I did. And then all we do is just go and get the stuff. So we take this in here. Now that you look Press escape to shut her up again. Throw the fuel away, put it in the first box like that. And that's all there is. Now you pick up everything. Just like this. I'll do the full trip. I'm not gonna cut anything in here. And mind that in there. See that foreign thing? See, and now it disappeared. See, there is a bug with a ground. Even though it disappears when you get close, it's still there. See that thing? If you fly into that, then you're done for. You're gonna bust up your ship and maybe even die, so... I did fly into it once, that's how I know. <coughs> I thought it was a bug from a distance, but it's actually there. That thing that just disappeared in there, it's actually there, wherever it was. See, uh, on the distance in there, far, far away, there is another one. A huge one. I'm honestly surprised they haven't fixed these things. This one you uh, hold control and just double tap and it selects everything. And this is very important, put it into your uh, nano pack, not in the ship. Because your nano pack... Oh, bloody hell, this lag. <coughs> Go! <coughs> your nano pack can have 20 tons. See, it says, um, if it exceeds 20 tons, then it's gonna be added to the ship. So you can have 20 tons free... Um, free weight without adding it uh, to the ship, so it's very important. Put at least 20 tons worth in the nano pack. It's just best if you put, um, put the gold in there. Oh, what is this? I didn't jump. And also put this in here, doesn't matter. Eh? What is he playing Sonic or something? My character like running in one place. What, what is that then? If you don't take the fuel out, then I would highly recommend doing two trips, and then you need to split the stuff into um into uh, parts properly. <coughs> That's why I'm doing it uh, like this with one trip. And also retract your landing gear because it does add drag. I already did that at the start and I'm not even using it because you don't need it. Uh, 
And the order I'm doing it in is also very important. That's why I went there first. You might think you should pick up the gold last, but uh, trust me. I'm doing it um, possibly the fastest way possible, <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't think there is a way to do it any faster. I mean, you could split some seconds in here, you know. You might get it a little bit faster here and there, but... Um, this is the um, most optimal way, I would say. And here, hold down the brakes and line yourself up like that. So you're lined up with that. And then, whoosh, we go up and then we do that. Because it is heavy, trust me, it's really heavy, see? It's already pulling down, but... Um, I've done it so many times, so I already know exactly the trick. The reason why you need to line up is because you can't really turn with this. See, it's already going, I don't know where. And the speed, you need to keep it uh, about 250, but I will keep it um, almost 300. I just slightly brake to uh, adjust the course, see? And now we break more, more, and... There we go, perfect landing, and then we already turn ourselves in there. Like I said, I've done it so many times that um, I could soon do it with my eyes closed. And then we just drop all the stuff in here. Double click again. Hold control and double click. And then we just um, get away from here. Sometimes there is really weird stuff happening and I will include it at the end of the video. Some fails and bloopers, you know. At one place, half of this uh, carrier thing just disappeared on my screen. I mean, the voxels disappeared. That was pretty fun landing in there, you know. And in one of these, I um, clipped the my wing. The oh yeah, and this also happened. I got stuck inside. Look, where is it going? Where, where is it going? Oi, stop! There you go. Uh, yeah, in one of the times I jumped out of the ship, but the ship uh, glitched into me. I got stuck inside of it. And then I used the unstuck command and it put me into the space challenge instead with that ship. Unfortunately, I don't have that clip, but that's how you do it. <sighs> Speaking of weird stuff happening. This is the first time my game gets stuck on a loading screen. Oh, and there we go. Welcome to the space... Okay, so here's the space challenge. And it was stuck there for over a minute, by the way. It has never happened to me challenge. before. Uh, so, in space challenge, this is the best ship to take. The only ship you should consider. Again, link the container. You don't take any fuel, nothing out, just go. And the space one you can only do with three runs. You can't, um, you can't do it two. And again, the order is very important how you do it. There are three parts, so you can choose which one you do first. I like to do these first. I already know the braking distance and everything almost perfectly. And again, there is uh, sometimes some really weird stuff happening. Like I mentioned, I will... Um, I have it um, at the end of the video, I'll leave the fails and stuff, just so you can see what I sometimes have to put up with. Go! What is this? Go! You hear that noise? Oh my god. The buzzing sound. Hear that? It's like when you get in the ship, that sound got stuck somehow. I don't know, I've had so many weird bugs. One time all the voxels on my ship disappeared. One time all the voxels on one of the base stations disappeared. Some really weird stuff. One time my ship just got a heart attack and flipped itself uh, upside down. And then I wasn't able to use the maneuver tool on it. Although I do know a fix for it, if, um, you have the bug that you can't use the maneuver tool, see? It says, uh, you have boarded it, then you just need to run away far enough to get out of the ship's bubble, 
And um, there you go, then you can do it. I just wanted to show it because sometimes um, you need to maneuver the ship. Sometimes it gets a heart attack and falls over or something. Then uh, you just run away from it and then you can uh, use the maneuver too. So it's very useful because um, I've actually had it a couple of times where the ship just gets stuck somewhere. Like uh, clips into something or just falls upside down or something for no reason at all. And then you need to use the maneuver tool, so it's um, just a good thing to know, you know. Might have gone a little bit too fast. Ah, not really. If I would have slammed into it, I don't think I would have taken any damage. You see, what is this? Why did you put the shit back on? Look, what is this? Why am I moving? Mate, weird stuff much. And see, this is barely, barely we can fit these three things. That's why I did that for. I hope you've been uh, keeping track where I went. I first went into um, right when you come out of the hangar, you go right. Then from there you go into the hexagon, and then from there you go into this Dr. Rhubarb. Because the names on the top left, they don't match wha what you have in here. I mean they do, but it's, um, whoops, I'm going too fast. It doesn't fit, see, it cuts off the names, so it's a little bit, you know, confusing what is what. So that's the first trip, these three you do. Or, well, um, it doesn't have to be first one. It can be any any one of these. Then we uh, put the stuff in here. And now you have um, two choices again. Either go up or go down. I'll just go down because I'm already facing there. And from here I already know how to turn myself. We turn like this. Because from there we go into that, the flip 360, which is, um, which is somewhere above me. Like, if you look at this one, then uh, this is the best way to land. I mean, pointing your nose that way. Like I said, I've done this so many times that I already um, know the best methods in here. Oh, whoops, uh, I forgot in here. You put these two, you put into your nano pack, and this goes into your container. Very important. It really is. I'll show you why. See, and there's the flip 360. This is the one I had problem uh, finding it first. Like, what do you mean flip 360 ammon? There is no such thing. Look on the top left. Envoy Freighter and Aspire Station. But it's actually Flip 360 AMN Aspire. See what I mean with the names? It's it's really confusing because it cuts off. It's like, what, what do you mean Flip 360? Like, there is no such thing. And I'm like, what the hell? Where is it? It can be quite confusing when you're doing it for first couple of times, you know. That's gonna be really heavy stuff. And the reason we, why we did that is because you can only fit two into your um, container and one into the nano pack. Regardless if your nano pack and container are empty, it still only fits two and one. So that's why I'm doing it like this. We just reverse out from here. And now if you use the mouse wheel, it doesn't actually go into the, um, into the positive throttle again. Some people actually in the help channel complained about it. And you just press R or whatever you use for the thrust up. Just press it once and then you can use the mouse wheel again. Like, I don't know, if you go into the reverse mode and then go back into the forward mode, then um, there is like a hiccup in the middle, you know, on the zero. It doesn't want to go past it. And I think that's actually a feature so that you don't accidentally, you know, um, scroll from positive to negative and from negative to positive, you know. I think it's done on purpose. I don't think that's actually a glitch. And mind your weight, this this load is really heavy. Well, that's what she said. 
There we go. Nice and easy does it. And also another tip I'd like to give you is um, how you exit the ship. You exit from the same position where you enter. For example, let's see, I'll go exactly like this on the side. And then, um, there we go, we take off, we go straight up. And once I exit the ship, I'm gonna exit the same way, like looking like this on the left side of the ship. But yeah, these trips you can do in any order, but they have to be the same combination. One up, then uh, one is down and uh, flip 360, or the flip 360 and then down, up to you. I like to go that way because the, um, because it's easier to go uh, from down, do you know, to flip 360. Uh-oh, and now I need to flip myself. There we go. Uh, no, 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 what do you mean leave? Where are you going? Stop it. I know what that happened. I accidentally pressed the uh, right mouse click. I don't know why. This is the main place I always get stuck in somewhere, but look at exit now. See? Exactly the same way. I was a little bit confused at first. I didn't know which way you need to, um, I mean, which way you exit the ship. But then I realized it's exactly the same angle you enter it from. Whoa, I got clipped a little bit. Where is the marker? There it is. And that's how you do the space delivery. <coughs> you go up and down and to the parallel roll. See? Easy peasy. Lemon squeeze. Squeezy. A little bit too fast. Oh, bollocks. Actually, not fast at all. And you don't have to worry about smashing the ship into the smithereens. Wait, what is this then? Oi, stop! Ah? Uh? Oi, come back! Where you go? What is it doing? <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, man. Come on, get in there. To exit. Yeah, yeah, to exit, to exit yourself. There we go. And this is how easy these challenges are. And that is easy 525,000 a day. And just in case you're wondering, you can do them again, but you can only do them uh, once for money. So if I click again and click on the space um, or air, then it doesn't give you the reward until the next day. So I hope you found it useful and hope to see you all next time. Oh shit, that's bad. That's really bad. You can fix it with the scrap you picked up at the beginning or get more at any of the pickup locations. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, there we go. And this way I'm already lined up. What's going Are you kidding me? I swear every time I'm making a video stuff like this happens. W what happened? Why did it get some kind of a heart attack? Why Mate, why did it fall over for? <laughs> what is this, man? What do you mean? I'm not bored that. Oh my god, this this is ridiculous. Look, uh, this is boarded. I'm not boarded with that, so... Oh, mate. I, I swear, like, this, this stuff always happens to me. Apparently I can't maneuver it, so... Okay, let's try to... Um, I don't think it has enough power to push it away. So I need to go like this, then. It's a little bit fast. Oh, no, 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 you're not gonna fall down there. Then I'm screwed. Why is it... Oh, mate. No, not... Oh, my God. I, I don't know what to do now. Now I'm stuck. How does this stuff happen to me? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! Why do I not bore that? I, I don't know what to do. I'm not bored that. Finally. Oh my god. Like, this kind of weird stuff always happens to me. Like, why this ship has no voxels on it? Like, huh? <laughs> it 
all other ships are fine, and this one ha has no voxels on. Okay. I don't know how this stuff always happens. Like, like, whatever, whatever. So this time the space station has no voxels. What is happening? How am I supposed to land here? Uh, I guess I have to just get out and stop moving. That that's so weird. I don't know what's going on. Let's see if I can actually go through them. Ah! I need to take this first. This is crazy, man. Yeah, and it looks like the voxels are literally gone. It's not... Oh! What the? <laughs> what? What's happening? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> this is crazy, man! Why is this? I don't even know why they put all that stuff in here. O okay, now I'm just falling through the station. Wait, what's this? Never seen that before. Oh my god. Is that a window? Bay window? Okay. So yeah, the voxels are completely gone. It's not just a visual bug. Awesome! Yeah, stuff like that just constantly keeps happening to me, I don't know. Looky looky! Half of this is also missing! I don't know what's happening! This is so random, look at that! <laughs> How am I supposed to get to the container? Uh... Hello, people. Do I have to like play some jumping game in here or something? If I fall, then I'm gonna fall down. What am I supposed to do in here then? Yeah. See, that's how I have to put stuff in the container in here. That's that's just crazy. I hope that at least goes. Go go go. That's that's just like what is this supposed to be? Absolutely ridiculous.